Leaders from over 30 African countries gathered in Ethiopia with one goal in mind, the emancipation of Africa. And what has endured through it all is this, the Union, the African Union, a masterclass in cooperation. Its work has reduced conflict, elevated best practice models through the African peer review mechanism, and created critical collaboration across eight economic regional communities. May this convention of union last 1,000 years. We all play our part in celebrating Africa's greatness, not because we live on its soil, but because our soul is at home in Africa. One African country after the other fought for and gained their independence and their freedom. That fight is not done. We celebrate Africa Day this year remembering our hard-won victories and pushing onward to create the Africa we want. Hello, hola, jumbo, bienvenue, marhaba. To all our viewers joining us from Lilongwe, Kigali, Nairobi, Lagos, Windhoek, and everywhere else around the world, we welcome you to the special Africa Day broadcast. 2020 marks 57 years since the founding of the Organization of African Unity, now known as the African Union. This remarkable milestone is celebrated annually on this day, the 25th of May, Africa Day. Allow me to take you on a journey to meet the amazing people, explore the proud history, the rich heritage, and the cosmopolitan cultures of the magical continent of Africa. I also intend to give you a glimpse of the future, the Africa we want. Today we celebrate Africa Day under the theme, Silencing the Guns creating conducive conditions for the development of the African continent and intensifying the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm also excited because we'll hear from one of the founding fathers of our continental body and its current chairperson. To borrow a phrase, you're not African because you're born in Africa, but because Africa is born in you. Fellow Africans, to get us underway, Please rise as we observe the anthem of the African Union led by the State Theatre Youth Choir. and development are two sides of the same coin. But what happens after the guns and the COVID-19 pandemic have been silenced? What will Africa's future look like? Agenda 2063 is the continent's blueprint and master plan to transform Africa into a global powerhouse of the future. 
It's a strategic framework that aims to deliver on the outcomes of inclusive and sustainable development, a true and concrete manifestation of our Pan-African goals for vision, unity, freedom, and prosperity. The African Union is the engine propelling Agenda 2063. The chairperson, His Excellency, Mr. Musa Faki Mahamat. Le 25 mai, Journée de l'Afrique est à l'instar de toutes les fêtes historiques, un moment de fierté et de recueillement. 57 ans que l'Afrique s'est affranchie de la colonisation, de l'apartheid, qu'elle a connu de grandes transformations politiques, économiques, sociales et culturelles. Mais 57 ans qui débouchent aussi sur des questionnements angoissés sur ses nombreuses insuffisances. L'espoir d'une naissance de l'Afrique existe, tant dans le potentiel humain et matériel considérable qu'elle possède, que dans sa volonté farouche de vaincre la fatalité et de briser les chaînes de la dépendance et de la pauvreté. La pandémie de coronavirus est venue amplifier les angoisses et les incertitudes. Je voudrais rendre un hommage mérité à son Excellence Cyril Ramaphosa, président de l'Union africaine, pour les initiatives pertinentes prises, à tous les chefs d'État, à Africa CDC et à tous les organes compétents de l'Union qui ont pris à bras le corps notre stratégie de réponse à cette pandémie et qui explique la surprise que l'Afrique a réservée au monde en étant jusqu'ici le continent où la pandémie à le moins progresser. J'adresse une mention spéciale à l'ensemble du corps médical et aux chercheurs qui œuvrent sans relâche, jour et nuit, pour sauver, pour sauver des vies, parfois au risque de perdre la leur. La pandémie nous questionne profondément sur la nécessité de renforcer les chaînes de solidarité africaine et les politiques de résilience de notre continent. Nous ne pouvons plus tout attendre de l'extérieur. Nous ne pouvons plus nous complaire dans ces rôles d'éternel réservoir pour les uns et de débouchés pour les autres. Il nous faut aller au-delà de la conjoncture en nous préparant au choc qui résulterait de la situation post-pandémie. Le salut de l'Afrique provient d'un sursaut continental et panafricaniste pour qu'on ait terres arables nos forêts, nos richesses animalières et halieutiques, nos mines, soient les terreaux dans lesquels nous puisons les ressources de nos besoins vitaux, de notre sécurité alimentaire, des transformations nécessaires de notre système éducatif et sanitaire, de notre rayonnement et de notre contribution à la civilisation de l'universel. C'est cela le message que les pères fondateurs de notre organisation auraient voulu que nous partageons en cet anniversaire mémorable. Le combat pour la paix, comment défaire taire les armes sur le continent, condition sine qua non pour promouvoir le développement. C'est pourquoi je renouvelle mon appel pour une forte appropriation du thème de l'année 2020 et invite à l'effort pour sa mise en œuvre. La pandémie du coronavirus a brisé les certitudes et les assurances d'un monde devenu insouciant et parfois arrogant. Il est venu le temps pour l'Afrique de repenser son devenir. C'est pour cette raison que j'invite les intellectuels, les universitaires, les acteurs politiques, les militants de la société civile, le secteur privé, les femmes, la jeunesse, à engager une profonde réflexion sur cette question centrale, pour notre survie matérielle, notre liberté et notre dignité. Que Dieu bénisse l'Afrique. Africa no salawama Africa. Africa no salawam zonzondo. Africa no salawam lisala no tinja na we Africa. Si fiki ni sikele mga zinge, si zegu zagu zam, si zenzo no zagu zagu. Ya nga ishinti ambe nkulu ya kaba nga oma ne ya landula. A putu salama bete angwa bibita mazing, bute papa mekalu pali, wa suga wa pepeta. 
Ebe kulo kusha kula shaki sama loko nyam. Kuto wai la simbo ya kongo poyana. Bebe kuto fa to fa. Bebe kunyacha la. Bebe kubi zangen kando asim shabu nyama shabu koko. Masema shasa. Masema kumleyo. E kunyiswa kuku singa. Ne pongo la ma Afrika. Wani kama Afrika ndi tu hujo. Kenga nyama yako yaku mati nyani so. Nenzo ndele ala yaku senu zinzo lwe Afrika. Kumakala ku la mshabele la mache nchuko nite. Mesili zirem. Inka zimla yazmi yana kuti hai. Kaba la hujo laba kwapili ze kapa za makalanga. Kumaka ni zinjo ndi nani zinjo kasi. Kumaka ni makwa tina ni makia zana. Niza ni mchaba luchi kwa waisha mkulu insa. Waka ndu kaka mungi kam. Waka mga la kulu ya panzi kena lga mchon. Wabu na kumprofe tutila na mtutwe ni. Ela kwa na kilazo nenzo makobo kam. Hina mi keke mba mapule mama ili ili. Ama chinichi na machive la machicholo. Kholi sasa Nelson Mandela. Siti maye. Chaguali sola zulu. Yake lancha siti masile chocha matot. Singunga singumsele. Siti ala hai. Wanotwa lutu tuluazi chose ngwefu. Sanga pambili. Omkenge. O Julius Nyerere. Kenneth Kawunda. O Steve Biko. Jamo Kenyata. Mama Gaddafi. Robert Mukabe. Jamo Mbegi one set. I am an African. I owe my being to the hills and the valleys, the mountains and the caves, the rivers, the seas, the trees, the deserts, the flowers, and the ever-changing seasons that define the face of our native land. Remember, we are the ones we've been waiting for. Today, it feels good to be an African. Brother Dan Ramaphosa, Madame Mukotisaranda. This is the time. President Cyril Ramaphosa, this union of Africa is the cuff of the covenant that should strengthen our relationships so that we can come together as one and work together in the spirit of togetherness. Umoja! President Cyril Ramaphosa, this Ark of Covenant should ensure the peace and tranquility to silence the Khans in Africa and the world at large. Siti kotuka corona, kotuka, amwa, bedompasi, si! Agenda 2063, aspiration number six, speaks of an Africa whose development is people-led relying heavily on the development of its African people, prioritizing women and youth, and of course, focusing on early childhood development. The goal is to provide Africa's youth with opportunities and access to health, education, self-realization, as well as prioritizing early childhood development and ensuring safety and security of Africa's future. Aya Chebi is the African Union Youth Envoy. Hello African youth, I hope you and your loved ones are safe, whatever you are. I want to wish you today a happy Africa Liberation Day. This is our day. It's the day of my liberation, your liberation, and our collective liberation as Africans. We are here as the millennials because of the sacrifices of our mothers and fathers and generations that we respect for their fight to end oppression, injustice, and colonization. They showed us how African solidarity can liberate us. They made us believe in the values of Pan-Africanism, equality, and dignity. And today, our generation needs to claim Pan-Africanism more than ever before to liberate ourselves from this pandemic that hits the world. African youth, in the spirit of Ubuntu, you and I are central to the fight against coronavirus. Today, I celebrate your resilience and work on the front line, raising awareness, crowdfunding, innovating, producing masks and protective gear, following hygiene, and really supporting your elders and your communities. And all despite the enormous social economic impact on our youthful population, from unemployment to inequality, gender-based violence, mental health challenges, and the loss of loved ones caused by this pandemic. But let's continue to rise up to this challenge with youth-led accountability, agency, and participation to have equal access to information to the digital space to education, to health, and to be 
proudly African. Because we do not need permission to serve our continent. Wherever we are young people, we have a role to play. We can all commit today to turn COVID-19 pandemic into an opportunity for transformation and for intergenerational co-leadership. Today, we are also launching Youth Silence and Begun's campaign to rally and unite youth and peace builders around the actualization of the theme of the year on silencing the guns in Africa under the leadership of the chairperson of the African Union, the president of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Cyril Ramaphosa. The Africa we want is our collective responsibility. Join us and happy Africa Day. As Africa and the world face our biggest challenge in recent history with the COVID-19 pandemic, we must remember one thing. We are in this together. Your continent is fighting alongside each and every African every step of the way. The African Union, chaired by South African President Cyril Ramaphosa this year, together with peer African leaders, has been hard at work to find lasting solutions that will ensure that Africa beats this and any future pandemics to come. Through their united efforts, the African Union has raised over 60 million US dollars. Africa has shown unity and leadership in protecting its citizens and managing the spread of the pandemic with world-class expertise and resolve. We have called for debt repayments to be paused and even cancelled, freeing up billions of dollars to fight COVID-19. Africa is united. Together, we will overcome. Every person and every organization who are keen to be involved, please be certain that there is a role for you. Join this movement as soon as possible in order to multiply its impact. Please visit www.au.int for more details. The Pan-African Women's Organization, POWO, was founded in 1962 in Tanzania, a year before the founding of the OAU. This was to allow African women's organizations to gather, to share good practices, and to encourage their drive for human development and gender equality. Madame Yunus Ipinge is the president of POWO. I greet you on behalf of the Pan-Africa Women's Organization on this memorable day, 25th May, celebrating 57 years of existence of the African Union, including its precursor, the Organization of African Unity. It was on this day that our forefathers and mothers expressed the need to unify Africa in search for political freedom. We extend our felicitations for a happy Africa Day 2020 celebrations. On this occasion, we wish to congratulate Your Excellency Sarah Ramaphosa for your election as a chairperson of the African Union and assure you once more that Pan-Africa Women's Organization and the African Mothers in general will fully support you and work together with you for the betterment of the continent and beyond in the spirit of the African unity. Let me thank their majesties and excellencies, head of states and governments of the African continent for having granted power special agency in the status in the African Union and the declaration of 2020, the decade of the financial inclusion of African women. The recognition accorded to the African women throughout the continent is a magnificent victory in continuing for search for African unity in unison and the adherence to the principle of African freedom and unity. We pay tribute and homage to our forefathers and mothers who sacrificed their lives for the freedom of the African continent and the legacy left for us to continue with the spirit of unifying Africa for freedom and justice for all to make Africa a better place to be. It is because of their foresightedness and visionary leadership 
that today we celebrate the 57th anniversary of African Union. Women of the continent celebrate the adoption of the protocol of the rights of women in Africa, a landmark achievement of the continent. We have noted with satisfaction the progress made so far by the countries that ratified the protocol and appeal to those that have not done so to do so. Dear fellow Africans, the task before us is still to unify our continent and the investment in women is to muscle the active saving of our people as we forge ahead united desire to move forward together and honor equality between men and women in building the africa we want we appreciate the effort made by african union commission by spearheading the launch of agenda 26.3 under the able leadership of uh, the then chairperson madam Kosasana Dilamin Zoma. The campaign to end child marriage in our continent is reaping notable results. Investment in youth is the right direction to accelerate the African transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, in our recently concluded Congress that took place on the 26th to 28th February this year in Ventioc, Namibia, priorities were identified and resolutions were taken. The Congress resolved, among other things, to call on African Union to adopt a decision to provide an annual grant to POW that will enable the realization of programmatic interventions for women's financial and economic inclusion, and also call upon the governments to support the establishment of the national platform of POW with dedication resources and support in their respective countries. During this Congress, the African women declared to work with the African Union in addressing obstacles inhibiting economic development of women and put in place necessary mechanisms designed to advance women's social advancement and economic development. Let us celebrate our day, the Africa Day, by paying our deepest sincere tribute to all men and women at the forefront of fighting coronavirus. They are all indeed our true heroes during these difficult moments. I urge and appeal to all Africans to embrace and uphold dignity by virtue of our common humanity. We have achieved historical gain in different aspects. We hope for a prosperous and conducive environment in Africa. Rise Africa, happy Africa Day, long live Africa. I thank you. Greetings from Addis Ababa. The African Continental Free Trade Area uh, secretariat became operational on the 1st of April 2020. It holds great promise for Africa's development, great promise for boosting intra-Africa trade and it is my mission to make sure that um, the benefits of the African continental free trade area reach all segments of our society across the African continent. Young Africans, women in trade, big African corporations, small and medium uh, enterprises. This is our objective to make sure that um, boosting intra-Africa trade becomes a reality for everybody in Africa. Dr. Kenneth Kaunda affectionately known as KK, is the former president and founding father of Zambia from 1964 to 1991. Dr. Kaunda joined the anti-colonial Northern Rhodesia African Congress and later became the leader of the liberation movement, advocating a policy for non-violent action. Dr. Kaunda also afforded liberation organizations across the continent like ZAPU and ZANU of Rhodesia and the African National Congress to set up headquarters in Zambia. 
In 1991, following his retirement, Dr. Kaunda has been involved in many charity organizations. Much of his energy has been focused around limiting the spread of HIV and AIDS. President Kenneth Kaunda remains the only surviving founding father of our continental organization. On the 28th of April, he celebrated his 96th birthday. It's truly an honor, privilege, and blessing to still have him among us, to continue being a well of wisdom to many across the continent. He remains an invaluable treasure to the African continent. Comrade President Cyril Mabasa, Chairman of AU, representing all the excellencies, Heads of State in Africa. Greetings and felicitations on the occasion of the 57th anniversary of the founding of our organization. You have kept the dream alive and Africa has hope of greater success. Mr. President and Chairman, I could mention all the names in the living history of the AU and Africa. Heroes, some of them were known and sung, many others unknown and unsung, but the list is long and it will take at least a whole day to go through it. Suffice to say, they lived the dream of a United Africa and did their bit. Many, too many died for the cause. Remember, to always think hard and have a clear destination to where we are taking our continent through this organization. Our colonial borders have long separated us. Now a truly United Africa should arise and initiatives like the African continent of Richard area are a step in this direction. And now it is up to you, your colleagues on the continent and in the diaspora, to push ahead and fight for our people's dignity and freedom. Freedom from poverty, hunger and disease. Mr. Chairman, congratulations once again for keeping the dream alive. God bless all the all time. Amen. An Africa that is strong, resilient, united, and playing a leading role on the global stage sits at the heart of the African Union Agenda 2063. Driving this noble vision is the chairperson of the African Union, His Excellency. President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa of the Republic of South Africa. President Ramaphosa was a leader in the anti-apartheid struggle. He headed the process of drafting a constitution for a free and democratic South Africa. He's also the founder of one of the largest union federations on the African continent, the National Union of Mine Workers. And in 1987, he received the Olaf Palm Prize in recognition for his commitment in the international struggle for human rights. His Excellency, the Chairperson of the African Union and President of the Republic of South Africa. Fellow Africans, on this day 57 years ago, the Organization of African Unity was born. From the beginning, it was dedicated to the idea that only through unity could Africa safeguard its independence and unlock its potential. Today we pay tribute to our forebears, the founders of the OAU, whose dream of greater African integration and unity has endured. We also honor the legions of revolutionary leaders of Africa who took up the mantle of pan-Africanism and who fought for the economic and political integration of our continent, Africa. They have left a formidable legacy for our continent and all its peoples. 
they continue to inspire us and the generations that will come after us. It was the mission of the founders of the OAU to liberate the continent from the clutches of colonial oppression, to restore Africa's fortunes, and to restore the dignity of every African man, woman, and child. We are reminded of the difficulties they had to overcome and the resistance they encountered from foreign powers that had much to gain from exploiting divisions on the continent. Yet they taught us the power of perseverance and sacrifice, of dedication to an ideal, and that an Africa united can overcome even the greatest of challenges. We mark this Africa Day in the shadow of the coronavirus pandemic, which has swept across the world and left no part of our continent untouched. Thus far, almost 96,000 people have been infected on our continent and almost 3,000 have lost their lives. This COVID-19 pandemic will have a lasting impact on our ability to meet the aspiration of the African Union's Agenda 2063 of a peaceful, united, and prosperous continent. This virus has exposed the deep inequalities that continue to exist on our continent and across the world. It has shown how far we are from realizing our developmental goals and our responsibilities to the citizens of our continent. But at the same time, this global crisis should enable a new Africa to come to the fore. It should be an Africa of heroic acts of solidarity, an Africa of cross-border collaboration and sharing of knowledge and resources, an Africa that is united by a common goal. The challenge of this pandemic has shown how Africa is able to work together to solve its own problems. Day by day, across our continent, we are seeing the unity that is our strength being put to the service of saving lives and supporting the vulnerable. We salute the latter-day standard bearers of Pan-African unity, the health workers and the medical personnel, the scientists and the epidemiologists of our continent. We salute the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention for leading our continent's response to the pandemic. We also pay tribute to the community workers, the non-governmental organizations, and the leaders of government and business who have lent their full support to Africa's coronavirus response. The African Union and its various organs has shown leadership and acted with speed to address this crisis. We thank our brother, Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus, the Director General of the World Health Organization, for demonstrating strong and foresightful leadership to the world during this crisis. We thank all the patriots on our continent and our friends in the international community for showing solidarity during this difficult time. We know that no country can overcome this challenge alone. We call on developed countries, multilateral institutions, and the donor community to provide vulnerable countries across the world especially on our continent with the necessary support 
in the form of diagnostic and therapeutic medical supplies, as well as the necessary financial support to sustain the livelihoods of vulnerable people. We repeat our call for a comprehensive, robust economic stimulus package for Africa that includes debt relief, and other support measures for the continent's immediate humanitarian needs and necessary economic recovery. As we deal with the impact of this pandemic, we repeat our call for the unconditional lifting of sanctions that have been imposed on Zimbabwe and Sudan. As Africans, we have taken firm charge of managing this pandemic. We have a comprehensive strategy formulated by the African Union and have appointed special envoys to mobilize the financial and other resources necessary for its implementation. COVID-19 knows no borders, no nationality or skin color. To address the escalating humanitarian crisis, we need to deepen our solidarity. We must ensure the pandemic does not reverse our developmental goals. We must forge ahead with meeting the aspirations of Agenda 2063. We must move ahead with the most ambitious step towards Pan-African integration to date, the creation of the African continental free trade area and ensure that it is operational soon. We must not let up on our efforts to drive the African agenda of security, peace and stability, of democracy and human rights, of women's emancipation and the protection of the environment. We must not, under any circumstances, allow this global health emergency to derail our efforts to silence the guns on our continent. The tragic conflicts that are breeding instability in a number of countries on our continent are exacting a heavy toll on human life, and they must end. We must continue to affirm the supremacy of dialogue over military intervention. As Africans, we will continue to stand on the side of justice and support the people of Western Sahara in their enduring struggle for freedom and self-determination. We also call for the end of the oppression of the Palestinian people and the occupation of their homeland. Fellow Africans, Africa has known much turmoil and hardship throughout history. We have endured the worst excesses of humankind, from slavery to colonialism, to apartheid, and to prolonged military conflicts. But just as our ancestors were able to overcome the horrors of their time, so too will our faith, our courage, and our resilience as Africans see us through this time of difficulty. And so, in the words of Africa's first Nobel Peace Laureate, Chief Albert Lutuli, let us cast our eyes beyond the past. Let us fix our eyes firmly to the future that burns bright on the horizon. If we remain united, we will overcome this pandemic. We will recover and restore our economies. We will uplift the conditions of our people and we will be worthy inheritors of the legacy of the great Africans who met in Addis Ababa 1963 to form the OAU. 
If we draw from the deepest depths of African unity and solidarity, we shall prevail. May God bless Africa and protect her people. I thank you. Fellow Africans, Africa is the cradle of humankind. Its children displayed courage and bravery to unshackle the manacles of slavery. We displayed audacity and unity to banish the yokes of colonialism. Our strength and discipline restored our dignity in the face of oppression. Armed together with our African courage, discipline, audacity, strength and unity, we will overcome the COVID-19 pandemic. Now that we've heard from the chairperson of the union, Africa Day celebrations will continue throughout the day across the globe and here on the continent, hosted on various platforms and anchored by a variety of parties. We strongly encourage you to participate in these festivities in the spirit of Ubuntu. Now we kick off our cultural extravaganza here with one of the musical giants on the continent, Mr. Salif Keita. Ngosi, Sigelela, i Afrika. Coronavirus, it is real. I make a so for no fear. Kana, Kana, Bolo di Mama, Mama, Ijanto Jama, Bala, Furanjo Dom, Yogonche. It is on to the shallow, what you bad. Yo 
qui est dans la banane, ma prévention. Prévention. Solution, t'es qu'à couler, ouais, tu bêtes, ni savant. Ni savant. Et tu sais, non, 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 tu sais, une bonne action. Bonne action. Tu es machito, faradien, il faut faire une protection. Ouga. Mettez-le, qu'elle est, elle est là, 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 I take a cup of coffee, la. I'm gonna get a new car, na risky boy, la. I'm a domino, go be full of masorola. I jump to your la, can I to a catula? I'm gonna go la me. Cause in some interu de bande me, tu ma be. Lavez-vous les mains. Parlez-vous à distance. Respectez les consignes. Respectez les consignes. Lavez-vous les deux mains. à vous, lavez-vous les mains chaque jour avec du savon et de l'eau propre. Ouais.